गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स विश यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी रिपब्लिक डे सिक्सटी फोर्थ रिपब्लिक डे वी स्टार्ट विथ आर नेक्स्ट सेशन फॉर शियर स्ट्रेस इन द बीन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू डिस्कस वॉट वी हेड डन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड डिफाइंड वॉट इज द शियर स्ट्रेस दैट इज द इंटरनल रेजिस्ट फोर्सेज दैट आर डेवलप्ड टू रेजिस्ट द शियर फोर्सेज और द अनबैलेंस्ड वर्टिकल फोर्सेज एक्टिंग ऑन द बीन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द शियर स्ट्रेस दैन वी हैड डिराइव टू फॉर्मूला फॉर द फाइंडिंग आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ शियर स्ट्रेस सो शियर स्ट्रेस ऑप्टेन दैट इज डिनोटेड बाई टाउ एंड द फॉर्मूला to remember in a very simple way is say by that is s a y bar upon b i where s is nothing but the shear force which is always taken in terms of either kilo newton or newton in certain books the shear force is represented by f that is um, either s or f second is a a is nothing but the area which is considered or we can call it as the shaded area then y bar is nothing but the distance of the shaded area with respect to uh, neutral axis and b is the width of the section that is uh, b uh, whatever area we are taking so width of that particular section is considered and i is moment of inertia for standard shapes moment of inertia for a rectangular section is bd cube by 12 for circular section it is pi by 64d to the power 4 for triangular section it is bh cube by 36 but suppose if we have got a typical t section or a i section or an irregular section then we have to calculate the values of uh, moment of inertia right so this much we had done in the last lecture also we had uh, uh, derived the formula for a rectangular section and we had obtained that the tau max that is equal to 1.5 times tau average where tau average is shear force upon area and we had done one problem based on the rectangular section so i am taking another uh, problem based on rectangular section you can see over here it is a simply supported beam of span 10 meters having rectangular cross section 150 mm wide and 300 mm deep it is subjected to a udl of 20 kilo newtons per meter compute the values of maximum shear stress and bending stress produced in the beam so you can see that in this particular problem we have to find out the maximum shear stress as well as the bending stresses right so first of all what is given so given is a simply supported beam so we are having a simply supported beam right then this simply supported beam it is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of intensity 20 kN per meter so from this particular diagram what we can find out we can find out the value of shear force okay then they have given that the cross section of the beam is a rectangle so we have got a rectangular section of the beam what are the dimensions of this particular rectangular section width b that is 150 and depth d that is 300 mm right so from this particular section we can find out the value of area as well as we can find out the value of moment of inertia right so to start with first of all we'll calculate the value of shear force so to calculate the value of shear force we know that when the beam is a simply supported beam subjected to a uniformly distributed load then the reactions or if i want to show it in a manner that is in the form of a free body diagram so we can show that this is a udl of intensity 10 kN uh, sorry 20 kN per meter okay so if i want to draw a free body diagram for this particular uh, loaded beam then the free body diagram can be obtained by finding out the point load for a concentrated load so the point load for the concentrated load is load multiplied by area right so load multiplied by area that is 20 kN per meter multiplied by the distance that is 10 meters so this will get cancelled out so you will get 200 kN right now where will this 200 kN act so this 200 kN will act at the center what will be the center for 10 for 10 it will be 5 meters and 5 meters right 
so over here we will have a point load of intensity 200 kilo newtons right now when a load is acting at the center so definitely at the supports the reaction will be equal so what will be the value of reaction the value of reaction will be 200 divided by 2 that is equal to 100 kilo newtons okay so we can see over here that we can see over here that the shear force value is shear force value is nothing but the reaction ra is equal to rb that is equal to 200 by 2 that is equal to 100 kilo newtons now uh, after getting the value of shear force we know that uh, in the last lecture we had derived that the tau max that is equal to nothing but 3 by 2 tau average right so tau average is what shear force upon area so shear force value we have calculated what will be the value of area a is nothing but b by b into d so if we put the value we get 2.22 newton per mm square that is the value of tau average now if i want to calculate the value of uh, tau max so how can we get the value of tau max so tau max is nothing but tau max is nothing but 3 by 2 tau average so we get it as 3.33 newton per mm square so we have finished our first uh, calculation that is the value of shear stress what is the value of shear stress it is maximum is 3.33 newton per mm square and we know that at top and bottom the value of shear stress is zero that we have derived in our last lecture right now the second part of this particular problem is we have to calculate the bending stress now if you remember in our bending stress theory we had derived bending stress theory as my fire okay that is m upon i that is equal to fb upon y is equal to e upon r where m is maximum bending moment i is moment of inertia fb is bending stress y is distance of extreme fiber with respect to neutral axis e is young's modulus of elasticity and r is radius of curvature so in this particular problem they have not given us young's modulus of elasticity as well as radius of curvature then we can directly find out the value of fb that is equal to m y upon i right now what will be the value of maximum bending moment so the value of maximum bending moment is that when we have got a simply supported beam subjected to uniformly distributed load then the maximum value is given by w l square by 8 that is the standard formula okay so m that is equal to 20 into 10 square upon 8 and if you have forgotten how you are getting the value of w l square by 8 then again we can uh, revise it by over this particular formula that is if you want to find out the maximum value of bending moment where will the maximum value of bending moment obtained it will be definitely obtained at the center okay so if i want to find out the value of maximum bending moment at the center then what will be the formula that is nothing but 100 into 5 right and it is trying to sag so it will be positive then we have got this much udl up to 5 meter length so we can write down 20 into 5 that is a point load and its distance will be 5 by 2 and it will be hogging so negative y hogging it will try to rotate like this it will lift the beam in the upper direction so again you will have the formula as 500 minus minus 5 5s are 25 25 2s are 1000 so upon 2 okay so if you calculate this you will get the value as w l square by 8 so w l square by 8 we have calculated and the value obtained is uh, uh, 250 kilo newton meters as i told you that whenever we are uh, taking the units it should all be in the same dimension right so if i am taking it in terms of mm my bending moment should be also in terms of newton mm so 10 to the power 3 that is newtons and 10 to the power 3 that is mm so your final answer is 250 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm okay then we have got y what is y y is distance of extreme fiber with respect to neutral axis so our cross section of the beam is a 
rectangle right so what is the depth given depth is given 300 what are the extreme fibers extreme fibers are nothing but the top and bottom as it is a symmetrical section the intersection of your diagonals will give you the position of the CG so this distance that will be equal to D by 2 and that is nothing but 150 mm right so why that is equal to 150 mm I is moment of inertia what is moment of inertia for a rectangular section it is BD cube by 12 so we substitute all the values that we obtained so FB that is equal to MY upon I so we get the value of bending stresses 111.11 Newton per mm square now if we want to draw the bending stress diagram and a shear stress diagram for this particular beam so we can obtain this diagram in this particular manner right you can see that this is a rectangular cross section the depth is D and the width is B okay intersection of the diagonals will give us the location of CG and from CG we have got the axis passing that is called as a neutral axis the first diagram is a shear stress diagram we are drawing a vertical line right after drawing a vertical line we know that at the top and the bottom the value of shear stress is 0 and at neutral axis it is maximum so tau max value we have obtained as 3.33 we can just take this point and then join these points in the form of a curve so this diagram is called as a shear stress diagram now if I want to draw a bending stress diagram we know that above the neutral axis it is subjected to compression as the moment is sagging and below neutral axis it is subjected to compression uh, sorry tension as it is um, a sagging bending moment and at neutral axis it is 0 so again first of all we draw a vertical line then the value is 111 so we take approximately somewhere over here at top and bottom at neutral axis it is 0 we join these points okay so this diagram is called as a bending stress diagram you can see from this particular diagram our simple theory of shear force and bending moment where bending moment value is maximum okay shear stress value or shear force value is 0 or where the shear force value is 0 the bending moment value is maximum you can see over here the bending stress is 0 shear force is maximum bending stress is maximum shear stress value is 0 so this completes our first problem for the bending uh, stress as well as shear stresses for a rectangular cross section now we will uh, derive our standard formula for a circular section so we have to take first a solid circular section you can see over here a solid circular section is considered this is a circular shape having the diameter d you can see the diameter d and we have to derive the formula for this particular section so we are considering a strip AB you can see this is a strip AB the depth of uh, uh, I should not say the depth we should say that the width of this particular strip is B and um, the distance of this strip with respect to neutral axis is Y also the thickness of this particular strip is taken as dy okay now if I want to derive the formula for a hollow uh, solid circular section we have to first find out the width of this particular strip right now how to find out the width of this particular strip so we are if I take this particular circle okay if this is a circle taken right and this is the CG of the section so neutral axis will pass from this particular section 
okay now we are taking this strip ab right so this is the strip ab okay and this strip is lying at a distance of y from neutral axis okay suppose i name this as point c and this as point o okay if i join this a and o if i join this a and o what is the value of ao ao is nothing but radius r okay then oc value that is equal to y so i can find out the value of ac using pythagoras theorem what is our pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem is nothing but it is ao square that is equal to ac square plus co square right so ac i want to find out we can say that ac square that is equal to ao square minus oc square what is the value of ao it is it is r square what is the value of oc it is y square okay so ac that is equal to under root of r square minus y square right now i have calculated only ac but we are interested in calculating ab so we can say 2 times ab will be equal to 2 times under root r square minus y square okay so now i can show it over here that uh, we have calculated the value of the width of the strip so ab width b that is equal to 2 times ac that is equal to 2 into under root of r square minus y square right now after finding out the strip as you know what is our formula for bending uh, for shear stress tau that is equal to s a y bar upon b i right that means now i am interested to calculate the value of a y bar right now to calculate the value of a y bar we have to take 